Hey guys, so I uh, pulled out the engine in here so I could get the steering column out. Made a lot easier. And I got that clutch fixed up. Um, it was pretty simple and easy, so I didn't show you. But this intersection is just a reverse cone like this. So when it pushes this out, it releases it. And on the outer part here, it's a uh, that's got the friction material on it. It was all in good shape. I just cleaned it up and got that bolt out and put it back together. Um, I do want to fix, uh, see where this leak's coming from. Probably the valve cover gasket or something up there. Maybe this. I don't know. And I don't know what this does. Um, goes to the coil. That's probably the points or something. I don't know. Um, I got this muffler broken off there. Can go like this, but uh, I'm not sure about the exit. It's supposed to have a pipe coming out here to go out that hole, and so I got to figure out how to how I'm gonna route that. But uh. Got this whole front end out too, and I ordered new bearings for this steering box. This in, this uh, upper one, the race was all gone, and the, of course the plastic spacer here for it was all broken. And I got a steering kit that replaces these jam nuts with a a nylock nut and a thrust bearing. I'm supposed to make it easier to steer because instead of just rubbing on this housing it it'll have a bearing there. And this uh, pin was all messed up too. It had a big notch out of it so I welded it and turned it on the lathe so it's round, so it's round again and it uh, fits in here nicely. This front end, the bushings here were really worn out. So I had some that I put in there, some better ones. And I'm getting a new bolt. This one's all worn out. Here where it sits in the frame. And the frame is a little bit sloppy, but I'm going to try it and see how it sits in there before I mess with that. The wheel bearings, they look okay. This one's a little bad. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning up those other ones. and I have this new one, so I'll just pick the worst one and put a new one in for that. The inner seals were pretty non-existent so I gotta make something for those to keep the dirt out and these tie rods are really messed up too um, just pops right out of there and the rest of them are all welded up so probably gonna buy new ones of those or see what I got maybe I'll make some heim joints work on them Alright, I got a lot done. Uh, got all the steering and the engine put back in, as you can see. Um, I had good luck at the flea market. I found a couple of these enders, uh, two bucks each. Uh, found three of them, but uh, they were all right hand thread. And I needed two left hand threaded ones for the metal here. So I bought a couple of them online. and. So now the steering is all good, nice and tight. Um, got it all stuck back together here with the clutch and everything. The clutch seems to be working fine. Um, see, pushes on the flywheel there. 
and releases the clutch. Um, still got to hook up all the clutch and controls here. I uh, got the muffler set in place, all done. I uh, welded it around there and blocked off that hole that was back there. And bolted it on here, welded a couple of nuts on the muffler so it's held on tight. Um, I guess I'm just gonna blow it right out the grill there instead of this hole. Started working on the grill here. I got these pipes, just hollow tubes from some kind of stand thing. And I made the bottom part. It's gonna set in here like that. And then I'll drill holes all along there for the bars to set in and weld them from the bottom. And I'm gonna make one for the top here somewhere. Like that. And then I'll make this light uh, thing out of sheet metal for the lights here, like it originally had. It's some kind of, used to be plastic. Uh, and still got to put the battery tray in there. And then I'll work on the hood. I got my tank going again. It was, uh, I think it was just flooded. Alright guys, got this thing pretty much done now. I did the fiberglass repair on the hood here. Um, also patched up a couple of spots here but I uh, reinforced it quite a bit here in the inside I added a bar this here is a piece of one inch by eighth inch flat bar wraps around down to the hinges here and then it goes up the edges welded it together there where they intersect and then I bonded it to the hood so that's all nice and strong now. Bolts right through to these. Uh, finish the grill up there. I didn't do the headlight thing yet because I don't have lights to put in there. I'm looking for some three inch bulbs here and then I'll build that. Go to the junkyard and look for some. And I think I'm gonna turn down some plugs here on the lathe for these out of aluminum probably. I put the deck on, had to weld up a couple of holes in it, rust rust spots. Uh, just little holes here and there. Three or four. Figured out how to get it all situated. And that works good. Um, and had a little trouble with the wiring figured out the when I went to crank it it wasn't cranking so I figured out the the wires weren't hooked up right on this PTO switch so it was killing the whole system because when you have it on it doesn't crank over so fix that and now I'm working on this I have this front bumper from a bigger tractor it's from like a you know a Ford 9N or something like that I don't even know uh, from the junkyard I'm gonna bend these corners a little bit and drill a couple holes and bolt it on here either side so I'll give it a little bit of bumper there so I don't smash this into anything uh, that should be pretty cool Paint it green. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. Alright, guys, it's all finished up now. Got that bumper done. Looks good. I just bolted it on there. 
Um, I made these plugs on the lathe. They look good. Pretty easy job. I just had to make sure they were locking in all the way. I had some trouble. Um, I had to turn a couple of them down a couple of times because they weren't fully locking here. So, got to make that groove wide enough for the balls to sit in. Um, I put a little shut off here on the fuel line because the carb seems to leak sometimes when it's just sitting. It's got one on the tank, but it's too hard to get to, so put one there. Nice and convenient. Um, put the weights back on it because I was I had a uh, had to spread some gravel with the plow for my neighbor and wanted maximum traction, so uh, got the chains on it too. They're all muddy, but works and. Uh, the deck works good, haven't had any trouble with that. Um, yeah, so other than that, um, I got the, I have a, I think I'm gonna fix up the original seat and maybe put that back on. Cause it just needs a edging around it. And I have some, I just gotta do it. And I didn't get the headlights yet. So, I'll work on that when I get some. But other than that, it's a good machine. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you like it. See you later.